On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Oh, yeah, a little stubby. Part one inch. Oh, well, look at this. I don't know what you talked me into this time. But it's a tight squeeze, huh? This is the Polaris Razor 800 EFI high output Ranger Razor S. What that means, it came with Fox shocks, extended arms, bigger wheels and tires, alloy. This is a 2009. The first year the S model came out, has S there. So this is 60 inches wide instead of 50 inches wide. This has 138 hours. And 1,044 miles. The HO engine has, I believe it's 56 or 57 horsepower, where the original 800 XP has 50. This guy put rock nerf bars and a push bar, crappy lights. Missing the tool kit, figures. The original tool kit is not in it, so here's my cheap solution five gallon bucket organizer for five dollars on clearance was six dollars and eighty seven cents Woo i was gonna buy the original tool kit too decided to do it the redneck way hmm <laughs> what the heck that is might work Better than nothing for now. I have to dig around, get a torque set, an Allen set. Got replacements for that already. Right there. As far as a radio, I think I'm gonna put my UE Mega Boom in there. And I'm gonna use a fire extinguisher holder. That worked out pretty damn good. Well, it came in. Comes with the synthetic rope, a hoss, wireless remotes, solenoid relay box, a wired switch for inside. That must be your wireless box. So there's no external hand one besides this. Don't look bad. Also got this. I'm not gonna bore you too much with this whole install. Uh, just a couple stop and starts. Oh yeah, I finished that last night. Any seasoned razor people, please tell me. This little hole right here is all it has for the radiator. Right? Let me show you something. Like there's no holes here. There's no holes around here. If you open this thing up, look at the size of this radiator. You got look all that surface area. That's the regulator. Going in that little hole. It's not even, it's just barely hitting the bottom of that radiator. Does that seem bizarre to everybody else? What I thought of doing, was drilling a whole bunch of holes here so it would open up a bunch of holes across here and let more air in. I noticed some of the newer ones have a much bigger grill. I guess you could suck a little air from the side there and a little air from the side here, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? Doesn't seem very efficient. Let me know in the comments below. Hmm. 
Well, I got that mother frogger in there. It wasn't easy at all. It's a tight spot. Of course, the damn holes didn't line up for the winch on the bracket. So I had to take it out a bunch of times, and it's so tight, it's hard to even tighten it up. It was a mother That's the wireless module and the relay. There's the hoss, boss. The winch, hopefully, will last and work. That's why I ran it. The holes didn't line up with the plate. So I don't know if it's the plate. I think it's the winch. So I had to uh, modify that. So that was fun. But hey, it's all in. So if you're going to use this winch with this winch mount, you're not going to have a good time. Not only that, the wires that they give you are very short. It didn't make it to the battery. So I had to take some wires off an old inverter I had to run it up into here. And even the wires that come off of the relay to the winch itself are very short. I think it was like 20 inches long tops. Oh, that kind of sucks. Look at these quality gloves they give you with that winch. Kind of made the whole deal. That was deal breaker there, boy. That's some quality merchandise right there. If you buy the winch just for the gloves, it's worth it. Not. What I'm going to do is, I got this adapter that goes from an inch and a quarter to two inch. I'm going to chop it off here. I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to weld this so it's a solid piece with nothing hanging underneath. This way it's not extended off the back of the machine too much so it won't catch on anything. And then I can leave it in, bolt it in. Then I could take this two inch receiver part and use it for the front hitch. I'm sure everybody knows why I'm using an inch and seven eighths, right? It's because if I use two inch, I can't pull an inch and seven eighths trailer. If I have an inch and seven eighths, I can pull an inch and seven eighths or a two inch. It's not like I'm driving it down a road. It'll still hold on, but just sloppy. Looks good by eye. Look good from your house? we do boys yeah, I think I got some pretty good penetration <laughs> he said penetration so now I'm gonna cut this off at about a 45 here so it doesn't hang up or if I hit something <laughs> oh, look at that little stubby that's what she said <laughs> That's way better than having a long hitch hanging out the back to catch everything. That's right. For the front two inch receiver, I'm thinking of notching this out, cutting the plastic, getting that all the way back, bolting it there, using some of this to bolt to. I think that'll work out pretty good. So I'm going to use this old winch plate and cut it down here, bolt it to the bottom of that hoss, and then I'll have some extra steel I can bolt it to the bottom and that'll work. Yeah, see? Just like that. It'll work, right?
always the weld you're going to look at comes out a little screwed up, huh? That's the way she goes, boys. That's the way she goes. That's the way she goes? Mm, not bad. Eh, not too bad. Should work. Well, that's it. That should definitely hold. Let's give it a durability test. Yeah, that's not moving. That's not going anywhere. Yeah. Kind of painted up. Not bad. Save $100. So I added the windshield to it too. That's a nice system there. It keeps it nice and tight. Even the rubber across the bottom. Pretty tight fit. And these are nice. Because they're Velcro. Summertime, you just take it right off. Good design. Plastic back. Because you can't have a windshield without having one of these. The wind just scoops right over and blows right down your neck. This has like a Velcro. So not bad. And one of those little back uh, center bags. That thing's nice. Because there is no glove compartment. There is storage underneath the seat. But there's a bung hole in the bottom and it gets wet all the time. One thing I never knew, these holes are one inch, just like a boat plug. I never realized that. So if you want to make something that goes in the back, then you can put these on. You unscrew it out, leave this in the bottom. Put that through to whatever box you make and then on the inside you just clip that down and it'll stay right in. Or make like little tabs off the side of your cooler and have those lock in that's something I never knew but I'm definitely gonna make use of them because there's holes all over the bed now all I gotta do is make some redneck doors like I did for my Ranger yeah now let's take this some bitch for a ride yeah see how soft it is Two fat people. One fat person. I'm not calling you fat, Chris. Oh, it starts in gear, too. See the wrenches on? Oh, it's not. It went off. A little cold out, so we ain't gonna be doing any stupid shit. Just that. <laughs> Oh, you didn't strap it? Christopher, what'd you do? Without getting us covered with mud, watch it.
buck rub. I think it's a little too soft, a little bit. Maybe take another inch on all of them, you know? Yeah, kind of. Definitely low with us in it. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.